Welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a look at a new technology module from Siemens. In part one we had an overview of the technology module card, part numbers and how to connect the card to the sensor electronics which we call the digital sense link. Now we're going to have a look at importing that uh, device into a TIA portal project. So the important thing is that uh, the card is compatible with version 16 of TIA portal and above and WinCC Professional for, for this in instance um, which we'll show in a, in, in a future video and also PCS7 um, version 9 service pack 2. But for this video we're, con we're concentrating on TIA portal. So the first thing we need to do is is have a, 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 an I/O rack, and in this case it's the ET200SP Profinet PN. And I always go for the high feature because when I'm doing my demo projects, I might need to connect them to PCS7 or TIA portal. And I know the high feature card is compatible with both of those uh, versions of uh, PLC and DCS. So if we go to the hardware. I've got an empty slot here. If I click on that slot, it will it will show me the available cards that I can uh, slot into there. So, if I go to technology modules, I can see the Citrans FC, so Flow Coriolis Transmitter 070, and I can slot that into it to my project. And there's a little bit of setting up that you can do on the, on here, so you don't need any other software to to do this. But if I go on to properties you'll see on the Citrans parameters my units and everything else so I'm just going to adjust this because it's a smaller meter to to make it more uh, sensical and I am going to put in kilograms per meter cube for density and then liters for minute for my flow rate and then when you come down here you've got your low flow cutoffs and your totalizers well I want my totalizer to be uh, volume and liters for totalizer 1 and then you have your dosing functions, which I'm not going to cover on this video, but it does have uh, built-in uh, batch control, two-stage batch control. There's, a, there's a, some digital inputs and digital outputs that can start and stop um, your, your batching process. So you can see here, um, you can have a two valves. So normally that's a coarse and a fine fill. So once I've got that, um, I need to make a note of my um, uh, system constants. So this is the hardware identifier. Uh, I need to, to, to add that into uh, my block. So I've got that, the hardware in. Now I need to bring the code in. So if I go to my libraries and um, under master copies, I will see template and list HMI data. And I drag that into my project um, and also on the PLC, I have the um, all of the blocks for the FCT. So don't pick and choose; just drag and drop the whole block. You can rename it when it's in your project to whatever you want. Um, I've left it the same, and there it is, sat in in my project. Once we have the uh, uh, LSIT HMI data data block into the project, we may need to edit it. So if I just open this up. You'll see here there's there's various different devices and right at the top is the Citrans FCT so that's the one that we're interested in. So you need to you to delete the ones that you're not interested in and this link is is important because that's the the name that is being used in the HMI so just be careful of uh, of, of changing the name here. So the next thing we need to do is to, to, to bring that into uh, an interrupt and it needs to be a time interrupt and in this instance we're using OB31. So OB31 is there and all I need to do now is to drag my uh, function block in. So here it's automatically generating the, the data block number so if I click on OK data block 5 
and you can see that's been been generated I'm just going to put that under the same files to tidy it up and we've got a few things so the initial call we're going to add the initial call into to the block and you can see that is part of my OB and and then we need to set the diagnostic address for, for the mass flow so to get that go back to your hardware screen go to properties for the actual card and you can see their system cons constants so and there's my hardware identifier so just drag that so you get the circle with a line through it go back to your block and drag that into mass flow and set that now I just need to link the HMI data and that is under HMI data you've already set that up and then it's FCT and just select the first row hit enter and that's it everything's programmed up ready to go all we need to do now is a compile so um, it works best if you compile the hardware I tend to do rebuild all and then because it needs to, to make these links to to the uh, the UDT table which is this list if you like data we need to really do a full compile so I will rebuild all once you've done a compile and a download to the device just to make sure it's it's working just go online and there's two things to, to check for first of all um, that you've got data coming in and there's a few here that, that makes sense to look at um, for instance you can see there my density and my process media temperature um, it'll be rare to have one of these working and the others not so look for for things like that don't pay too much attention to the flow and the total values pick ones that you you understand and and there you can see that the the status hex 80 um, it is, that conforms with the, the profibus uh, status and the heart status and then at the bottom you'll see this connection uh, good that should be true so we want to see a lot of these hex 80s we want to see the temperature okay and once you've got that you've actually managed to to bring the block into your project and you could just leave it like that if you wanted to and um, take those values off manually to to you know other parts of your process but what we're going to look at is the in the next video is how we can visualize that with WinCC Professional thanks for listening don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and please pass you know, these videos on to your colleagues and friends and your support is very much appreciated. Hope to see you soon.